Hey guys, Prodigy Magma here, coming to you with another Titanfall 2 multiplayer video, episode 3 or so, uh, real quick here, I'm turning down the sound in this recording, but um, yeah, this is a follow up to an Infinite Warfare video I did that should have been released like yesterday I think, and in that uh, I talk about looking back at 2016, and all the games that I played, and I'm gonna kind of talk a tiny bit about how I started my channel this year and everything. And uh, this video, I want to. Um, by the way, I think I didn't say that that was an Infinite Warfare video, but that was when I released yesterday. And then in this video, I want to look forward to 2017 and. The games that I will hopefully yeah I will the games that I want to get and the games and type of stuff I want to do on my channel for the next year of 2017. Uh, hopefully I don't give up in 2017 because that's what happens to a lot of tiny channels like they get discouraged and just start making videos because they don't get a lot of subs but I think I will be fine hopefully I've been going at it for I don't even know like three or four months I think and uh, yeah but let's just get into the games I want to get in 2017 uh, these may not be games that I play on the channel, but these are just games I'm looking forward to. And to top the list off, um, like a lot of, or some people, especially my friends would know, I am dying to play Injustice 2. That is my top game of next year, 2017. I'm just so hyped to play that. I love the first one. I love DC Comics. Um, I love the character so much. Uh, I'm just really excited to play that. Um, it's like the only fighting game I really need. Um, although it kind of contradicts the next one, but I'm not really sure about the next one. Um, the only fighting game I need that's like that. I don't need Mortal Kombat or like. I don't need Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. I got Injustice. But um, the next one is. I'm kind of contradicting that, but I'm not entirely sure on it, so yeah. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom, the new one that they just released info about. I don't really know if I'm going to get it. I have, well, I've played the other Marvel vs. Capcoms. I'm not really sure which ones I've played, I just know I've played them. And, I mean, they were fun, but I'm much more into DC, so... Uh, if... It's more like, when it's cheap, or if I have money, I will be getting Marvel vs. Capcom, but, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not up there on my list, and it'll probably be replaced with something else as more games for 2017 is announced and stuff, because, um, a lot of games are announced during the middle of the year and come out around Christmas time or so, in November. Um, so yeah, that'll probably be replaced, but anyway, um, next one, Red Dead Redemption 2. So, I never played a ton of the first Red Dead Redemption, I played a bit at a friend's house, and I had a bit of fun with it there, but I just didn't play it, um, but a lot of my friends play, or have played the, played RDR when it got backwards compatible and it will compile on the Xbox One again and I mean it's just a GTA in the Wild West it's it's gotta be fun right and they're gonna be doing Red Dead Redemption online just like GTA 5 online so it's gonna be really fun and um kind of something to supplement GTA because GTA can get very boring, but it's very fun. You want to keep doing this stuff, but at a certain point, there's not much else to do. But in the RDR, there's going to be a bunch of different 
uh, positioned type of stuff for the old west and it's gonna be a lot of fun and yeah so and not to mention the campaign is sure to be awesome um, like the first one so and not to mention rockstar has not made a game in like three years and i'm ready for a new one because before gta 5 like they made a game just about every year like um they had a new one released even though many times it was from like companies associated or rockstar just had a part in it but still like they haven't done anything besides gta dlc and not dlc but like um updates and online stuff which i appreciate that they're doing but i think it should be like a separate thing they, they should be focusing on more actual games and i'm happy to see that they are focusing on other stuff like red dead redemption 2 so yeah let's see what was the other one um oh yes zelda breath of the wild i am very excited for this. It's gonna be like Legend of Zelda Skyrim version pretty much but I've been waiting for it for so long and I hear it's gonna be pushed back even more which makes me sad but at least it'll still be 2017 right? Probably um yeah it's just Legend of Zelda like um Skyrim like and it's going to be like the full potential for Switch new Nintendo games, I think it's going to be. Which is kind of in part with the other thing that I want for 2017 that isn't a video game. But a console, I really do want the Nintendo Switch. And I don't know if I would be able to do videos on the Switch, but that would be pretty fun to do if I could figure out a way to do it. Um, I'd love to play some of those games on the channel and um, expand my gaming stuff since I only have Xbox right now. But yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to the Switch and hopefully I can get it for my birthday, but uh, more likely is I get a job during the summer and buy it. Uh, Depending on how much money I get, I would probably either get a Switch or start working towards a gaming computer, which would be even better, but I would still like the Switch a lot because of the portableness of everything. But yeah, either one of those I would really like. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I mean, I guess uh, I'm 50-50 on Destiny 2, which I hear is coming out next year, which we haven't gotten a lot of info about, but that's because they have the regular first DLC for the first Destiny DLC and stuff still uh, kind of on the horizon, but there's still Destiny 2. I, I had a lot of problems with the first Destiny. Like, it's very repetitive and everything, and all the DLC to me is the exact same. And all the missions are to me, personally. There's nothing new, it's just characters with... They can take more hits. But it was still a lot of fun, the campaign was. I just got really bored of it afterwards. So, I might get Destiny 2 just for the first storyline. And have some fun with my friends, because I'm sure... My friends will be getting it too, because I have a couple friends that are really into Destiny, or are on and off about Destiny, so yeah. And I just realized that my character has stopped, so yeah. I guess I will see you guys next time. I forget, in this recording I have to go do something, but... I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Good. I was doing decent, and I was playing this kind of game.
again.